Here's a question from Ed. We have a newly poured driveway and would like to seal it properly after 30 days of curing. What do you recommend? We read that acrylic is not the best, but silicates are much better. So Ed, my answer to you starts with, it's a good thing to be a friend of Lou Manfredini's because a friend of mine owns this company, Bone Dry Products, and they make the best concrete sealer that you've never heard about. It's a commercial-based sealer that's silica-based, as you mentioned. The whole idea behind these types of sealers is they bond with the chemicals that are inside the concrete. So it essentially turns a porous material into a solid material, and when you apply this, it creates a permanent bond, meaning that that sealer is gonna last for the life of the concrete. So get to your internet and search out bone dry products. Not cheap, but it is so effective. Here's an email we got from Art. My son just bought a house that seems to have watered down paint overspray on all of the windows. I've tried cleaning it off, but nothing seems to work. Any ideas? You mean something like this? We made this up as an example. The first thing you need to know is you gotta get your son to do the work, not you. He's the one that bought the house. I want you to go to the hardware store and get a razor scraper like this and some extra blades. Then, with the paint dry, I don't want you to put anything on there because I want it to be as stiff as possible. Use the sharp blade and start scraping away that paint. Now, if it's been there for a while, this is gonna take a little bit of elbow grease, but you won't scratch the glass and by using this method, you'll make some pretty quick work of this project. Here's a question from Kathy. The door to my bedroom will not stay open. I put a level on the top and it's level. What do I do? It's driving me crazy. My dog just sits there and woofs until I hold open the door. Well, Kathy, it's a little puzzling to me when you said you put a level on the top and it looks good because it must be out of whack for that door to swing or not stay open rather. We did this in a Fix It in 15 Minutes on our show. If you go to HowSmartsTV.com and search it out, you'll see the entire project. Basically, what you wanna do is make sure that door is plumb, meaning straight up and down, and you can shift the door by removing a couple of the hinges, depending on which way the door has to go, and putting in a longer screw to tighten it up and kinda pull it back up. That way, wherever you place the door, it'll stay, and your dog can come and go.